I just want to say thank you to everyone who watches my YouTube channel. And if you don't think a Savannah Monitor will play tug of war, you're wrong. Because they will. And they're actually really good at it. There we go. So if you guys like my videos, oh, he's strong. Please go ahead and leave a like. That helps grow my channel. Also, please comment on my videos. I love interacting with you guys. Uh, it's a lot of fun and I get to answer questions and see that you guys care. Uh, and if you're not a member of the family, you can go ahead and subscribe. It's free. It helps me grow the channel even more. And I've listened to you guys and I do have a Patreon down below. Oh, the alligator death roll. So please go ahead and uh, like, comment, subscribe, bell icon. Okay, guys, here's the long form version, Reptile Rescue Family, of when is it safe to handle your snake after they've eaten. And like the YouTube short says, this varies all over the place, okay? Because you have different snakes, they metabolize at different speeds, different times of the year, shedding, not shedding, male, female, size, size of the meal, temperature, all of these things go into play. And so it can be hard. Because when you read online, you hear, oh, you know, uh, wait 24 hours, wait, you know, 36 hours, wait this many hours, 48 hours. It's all, it's all over the place. It's all over the place, all over the place. Two days, three days. That's really all random. They're trying to generalize a amount. Hi, Tetra. They're trying to generalize an amount where they think it, or they feel it should be safe or that other snakes have fed and have you know, digested in that amount of time, so it should be safe. But that's not always the key, because maybe you have a little bit more of meatier rat or chunkier rat, or you're feeding something large that is getting a pig or a rabbit. So the nice thing is all of these principles still apply no matter the type of snake and no matter what you're feeding. That's the good part. So when when the snake eats, obviously, you, you typically can feed it something that's up to, you know, 50% larger than the largest part, the thickest part, because the thickest part of the snake is going to be the, the stomach. And that's where that rat, mouse, chick, pig, rabbit, turkey is going to reside. Other snake, perhaps, if they're a snake eater, eggs, if it's an egg eating snake. Hey, what, what, what are you doing? Get, get, get in there. Get back, 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 get back. So you need to be aware of where this amount of food is going to reside. Because some people will tell you, hey, just look at the lump. That's a good point. But if you don't know where that lump is, you don't know is that lump undigested food or is that lump waste after the food that your snake is waiting to just expel. So you can easily look up on Google because it, Guys, there's so many varieties of snakes, males, females, there's different lengths. Where is the stomach? Is the stomach here? Is the stomach there? Is the stomach there? You, you need to know those things. You can look it up on Google easily and they're going to tell you, oh, it's about here, or it's about there. But every snake is different. So what's the easiest way? It's so simple. Feed your snake. Let your snake eat. Come back in an hour. That food is going to be settled in the stomach. See where that giant mass is. And then you know, for your steak, where the stomach is. Awesome. Just awesome. Because you know where the butt is. The butt is, you know, at the bottom there. Hey, what the heck? Get back. Get back. I'm trying to film a snake video. So you know where the butt is after that because the food will digest. It will move down. You'll get a really thick part at the base. Then you know it's ready to be excreted. Okay, great. So when is it safe to handle the snake? So almost all snakes they're going to eat, they're going to get this lump. It's going to take them two, three days, sometimes longer, sometimes shorter. Um, but as food is moving its way through the stomach into the digestive tract, snakes will almost always, if you have them on a normal feeding schedule, excrete some form of waste. There'll be some form of defecation. What's very common is a solid chunk of urate in then sometimes, not always, a small um, fecal push out as well. But that's not always there. But the urate is normal, normally always there. So I feed my snakes all at the same time. It's been about three days. 
urate with a little bit of poop, but mostly urate, come in here, boom, urate, just a little bit, just a little bit, because it's it's clearing out anything that was left over from the last poop, right? So your snake eats, it poops, but sometimes maybe there's a little bit of a left behind, new food comes in, old poop is getting made, but it's, it's moving its way down, so poop before, boop, get out of the way, because here's new poop. And then sometimes you get unlucky, and boom, urate in the water. This is all from this morning. All three snakes urate at the same day, great. But I fed six snakes, not three snakes. So a, a large boa is ready. A small boa did that urate. A large ball python is ready, but I have two ball pythons that haven't and one larger boa that hasn't. Now, just because they didn't leave urate doesn't mean that they're not ready to be picked up. I'm gonna look at the snake's body, see that the stomach has gone back to normal, see that the, the end is a little bit thicker. Okay, maybe there's poop and they have to poop, but they're safe to be handled. They're not gonna regurgitate. You don't have to wait for them to poop to pick them up, but you do have to be warned especially if it's a really big snake, that when you pick up and handle them, you can put pressure on their bladder, on their GI tract, and that could cause them to poop and pee all over you. That's normal and that's okay, and that is also safe for the snake. It's not a big deal. You just need to know that that potentially can happen. Also, if you take them out just handling them and you let them get out and move around, that movement can stimulate their gastrointestinal tract and cause them to poop or pee as well outside, not on you, but just outside the enclosure. So again, perfectly healthy, perfect, get back in, get back in, perfectly healthy, perfectly safe, but just know that it can happen. So don't be scared about your snake pooping or peeing after they eat, just you want to make sure they don't regurgitate that meal. Otherwise, you're good to go. But that's how you know for your snake. Stomach, feed them. We're going to recap. Feed them. Look at the stomach. Know where the stomach is. Watch that large mass they have eventually go down. And then a smaller mass will be near the back. And at that point, you're good to go. It could be a day. It could be one, two, three, four. Five, it could be a week. You can always play it longer if you're uncertain, but you don't have to go by every time I feed my snake. I know it's going to be three days. Sometimes it's been a week. That's all. Hopefully you guys find this video informative and I've helped you out. Thank you to all the sponsors. Thank you to everyone who's on Patreon. I appreciate you guys so much. You help me rescue and educate with these guys. Take care. Have a great day today, everyone. Thank you guys for supporting my reptile rescue family.